Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about a very exciting project from Zaha, the Morpheus Hotel in Macau. As you can see that this is what it's famous for, the beautiful cladding of the structure. The kind of showcase the skeleton of the structure instead of hiding it into the building. Okay, so you can see that all those structure has this beautiful grayish cladding. They have this very nice fitted edges. So let's take a look of this one. Also, you can see that. And this is what the structure looks like inside. This real project is super complicated. Each of those type of structure members has their own grasshopper file. So we are not planning to like build everything from scratch. Okay, so what we are gonna do is only talk about the cladding members. And instead of mimic the structure, I created my own shape. So this is what it looks like. And uh, this is the final result. You can see that the rendering, uh, in order to distinguish the material from like different members, I sort of have uh, give them different colors, but you can see that the elements are all there. Those are the three like shape elements, those kind of tubes, which has square as a section. And those members are the connecting members. Okay, so let's take a look of the general process. First of all, you have to come over to um, sub details, and I will just generate a form. Okay, whatever form it is. And then I will just use the sub tools. I'll select the surface. Things like that. I will just generate different kind of like shapes. I'll come over here, use bridges. Okay, so this is kind of like the form that I made. And then the next thing I will do is I will select the whole shape by coming over here, deselect, select this whole shape, and I will come to quad remesh. I will say like 50 is good. Give it a second. You get this. Okay. And the next thing I will do is I will just say to sub D, hit okay, I'll get this. Okay, this kind of like very beautiful remeshed shape. And then I will come over to two nerves. Be careful, right here, um, sub D options, you come over to faces, act, you click unpacked. Okay, make sure that it's unpacked. Well, the difference is the following. If you click unpacked and then get a shape, every single sub D faces will result into a nerve surface. Okay, so you can see that there's a sub D surface right here. And then you come over here, it comes into a nerve surface. So I'll come to standard, I'll explode everything. And this surface is individual surface from here to here. But if you select it and say two nerves and uh, sub the options, if you choose uh, packed, okay? And then give it a second. You will see that those surfaces has joined together. Okay, they are trying to give you the minimum amount of surface as possible while maintaining the continuity. Okay, so you can see the difference right here, one, two, three, but right here, one, two, three, four. So we want to have this like one, two, three, four, four sides relationship for our uh, surface division. So I'll delete all those examples and I will use this shape as our example. As you can see that every single like surface in this model has four sides and equally divide with each other. So the edges are very nice, this one and this one. They share the same edge, okay? That's because I choose unpacked when I uh, transfer the sub D into nerves. 
And the next thing I'll do is I'll turn on this grasshopper file, which I really don't want to. It just took me so much time to figure this out. It took me like two days. Okay, usually the projects that I seen online, I don't have to really get into deep. I take a look and I sort of know what is going on, but this one, it was very complicated as you can see. So I am not going to like talk to you about all the details of this project, but rather I'll tell you the general workflow. So this set of code right here, what they are doing is the following. So I'll just select it and I will um, unhide everything. So this set of surface were created by those sets of code. So I'll go back to Grasshopper. Okay, so this set of code generate the selected tubes. The logic is very simple. I will um, kind of like select it and hide it. So as you can see that I have surfaces here, I'll explode it. For example, I have this surface here. The logic is a following. They will create like shapes like this, divide from the center. Okay, and now I will unhide it. As you can see that, I mean, it's a little bit off, but the point is, uh, is here. Okay, they are trying to connect the midpoint to midpoint to midpoint among each of the surface and create this kind of tube members. Okay, and um, let's take a look of the set next step. So after we got those tube members right here, what we have to do is to work up on the cladding or connecting centers right here, or connectors, whatever you call it. And that logic is also very simple. Uh, right here, let me just hide everything by coming over here to edge, center, sheet. Okay, so for example, on this connection specifically, what I will do is the following. I will type in blend curve. I'll select this curve and uh, select this curve. Let's take a look. Okay, wrong one. So I will click this one and this one. Okay, I will hide this surface also. And I'll, then I'll click this one and this one. Then I will come over here, click this one, this one, okay. Same right here. Okay. And then what I would do is just repeat this on the bottom part. Again, I connected the wrong one. So Okay, you get the point. Then the next step is to do the loft. I will just type in loft. First sets, hit enter. Second set. Hit enter. And third set, and enter. Okay, same right here. I'll select those two. Select those two. Those two and those two. And in between, I'll select this one and this one. And on the top, what I will do is I will just type in patch. I'll select this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. 
this one, this one. And enter. Anything is good. Hit OK. And then I will get a connector like this. By the way, this one was, I select the wrong one. So it's very easy to make a mistake. So you get the point here, okay? I will not repeat everything among those different surfaces. And then if you are doing this for every single connection here, oh boy, it's gonna take so long. So that's what the grasshopper file is coming over here when it's kicked in, okay? So again, this is kind of the file that I really don't want to open again. There is nothing fancy here. There's no complicated logic or crazy ideas here. It's all about streaming the data, like um, find the relationship in between and make the lofts. The tricky part is about when you decide for the algorithm, when to decide to make connections, why I'm making connections between those two instead of like, let's say those two data or why it's connecting between here and here instead of from here and here, okay? So that is the tricky part about this algorithm. But overall, there's nothing fancy about this algorithm, okay? So I won't say please enjoy because this is really not a very nice um, process for you to take a look. But if you need it, or if you need to have something similar to this project in the future, you are more than welcome to use this algorithm. And in order to make your life easier, I'm going to also upload the Rhino files for you so you can take a look. Again, this project that I did here are only considering four size situations. So the connector can only handle four different members. You can see that right here, one, two, three, four. But for Zaha's project, some specific parts, they have like one, two, three, four, five, six, even seven different sets. So I have, I'm assuming that they have some algorithm that can handle from like two to seven or three to eight, things like that. I mean, it's not that complicated in terms of the overall data, but you just have to add more um, structure here and then add more if conditions to sort of find the neighbors for them to connect together. Or they just hired a hired bunch of interns to do the free labor, right? So that's it. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And I'm looking forward to see you in our next tutorial.